Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today we're going to be playing through the classic Cadillacs and Dinosaurs arcade game, which was a tie-in arcade game to the animated series. Defending humanity in a world gone mad, a world where only the strong survive, a world of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Which was itself based off a comic series called Xenozoic Tales. I guess they decided Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was more catchy to market. Which, you know, I kind of agree with that. But alright, let's get in here and start some credits. This is a pretty traditional style side-scrolling beat-em-up from the era, so don't expect anything too fancy in terms of gameplay. And... Again. All right, so we have 10 seconds to pick a character. We've got good ability, item skilled, flying kicks, or high powered. Let's start with item skilled because there is a variety of guns and weapons. East Coast, 2513. You can see the Statue of Liberty was back there. This is the city on the sea, which is kind of the main setting of the show and comic. It's basically what's left of New York, because the setting of this game is that because of environmental disasters and increasing natural disasters, people went into hiding for 500 years underground, and when they emerged, there was a world full of dinosaurs. No reason really why they came back aside from that. We picked up some cash and some dynamite. Just punch that door open, don't even try to open it. Is that gonna- okay. Got a salad here. So it's a two-button game. You've got a jump button and a punch button. And you can combo them together in certain ways. You can sprint kick. You can jump kick. And if you press them both together, you do your special move that costs some of your health. So pretty traditional beat-em-up style. I guess that decision to have them damage you like that came from them being arcade games first. You know, they wanted to kind of disadvantage you for using your special move, since it is stronger than your regular moves. Oh. Alright, just jump out of this, like, seven-story window. Stay good. I believe this game is also kind of impatient for you, because if you stay on a screen for like 30 seconds, it'll suddenly bring up a timer. Hey creep, get away from that dinosaur. Get lost or lose teeth. Wow, that went by really fast. Your carcass will fatten up this rock hopper before I skin it. Alright, we got our first boss, Vice T, and his rock hopper. All the dinosaurs have, like, weird slang names, because the idea being they don't actually know the dinosaurs' names anymore, so they came up with their own terminology. Oh, I got grabbed. I think I have to punch out this dinosaur, too. Grab this pizza. There is no way they could make pizza in this post-apocalyptic world. Alright, I think we beat the dinosaur so bad that it ran away. <laughs> I believe even in the show there was a trend of, you know, don't kill the dinosaurs. It's not their fault they're dinosaurs. It's their world now, you know? Man, he has a lot of health bars. Okay, we come down in a mortar strike. I kinda wish you didn't knock them off screen so much, because then they usually come back in with a jump kick. This seems to work though, just keep slapping them off screen with my <laughs> slide kick. Delicious coffee! Again, where did they get coffee? That wasn't too bad. I only lost one life there, I didn't even lose a credit. She's pretty buff. What a whim. Alright, City in the Sea. The Butcher is hunting in the northern woods. Don't mess with him. That guy is really nuts. So, we're going to the Swamp Forest. 
Looks like there's maybe seven levels. And there's our Cadillac. You might be wondering, how do they drive Cadillacs if they don't have, you know, the ability to refine fuel anymore? And they do explain that. It's that they use dinosaur shit for fuel. Or dinosaur guano, as they refer to it in the series. I should mention, too, that I remember the series being on when I was a kid, but it wasn't on often enough that I actually saw all of it. You know, it was one of those kind of infrequently airing shows. And it was only 13 episodes, so it wasn't around too long. But I do remember enjoying it when I saw it. Kind of hard to find now, though apparently Amazon Video has it. We got a sleeping T-Rex here, so maybe let's not anger it. Oh, okay, they're just gonna slap the shit out of it. And now it's rampaging. So I suppose we don't actually need to attack it, we just need to avoid it until it stops being orange. Those knives broke my- oh, get out of here. You know what, fine. I'll punch you, Shivat. Oh yeah, it looks like when their health bar runs out, they just leave. No dinosaur killing allowed. Into the swamp. So much for those white ants. I think there's another jump move that I don't know how to do. Oh, he dropped a grenade. Black Elmer is that fat guy's name or description. Looks like your luck just ran out. I don't know who this guy is. I suppose he's the guy from the intro. Okay, so we can change character here. Let's try Mess O. Who is even huger. So huge that they couldn't fit any pixels on his face for facial features. He looks like a sculpted clay golem. This guy's got a spike ball on a string. I think this is a boss, I guess. Lash T. Well, he doesn't have that much health, so I guess maybe he's just a mini boss. I mean, that jump attack seems like the best one. Or it's a slide kick for some of the characters. What am I gonna do with a watch? It's just worth points. Wow. Broke his neck. That's good. Nothing like a good tire stake. I can't believe this. Look at all the dead bodies. Where? Is that him saying that? Are these dead bodies and not statues? I guess these are all poached dinosaurs that have to be sepia colored so that they're not too violent. my donut. Oh, so much for not being too violent. Oh, gross. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I like that that was censored. I'm not sure why those go by so quickly. Okay. So we can take one of his so- oh, no, there's the other one. I was gonna say we can take one. I keep getting hit trying to pick up the damn sword when I just want to- attack, since they are the same button. Alright, yeah, the Butcher is another one of these bosses that's gonna get a lot of free hits and coming off the screen, especially when he has a butt slam attack. I mean, are we worse than the Butcher because we're just murdering all these men with a giant sword? I wonder, do we have a jump attack with a sword? No, he just has a little dinky kick. Oh! 
I think almost all the damage I've taken from him has been from him doing that slam. And suplex. Well, I guess it's not really a suplex. It's like a half suplex. I need that pizza. Were there any beat em up games that had like a dodge or a block button? I guess not, because then you could probably get through it a lot easier. Oh, I'm not allowed to keep the sword. Alright, that's Butcher Butchered. Number one, baby. <sighs> Look at that handsome face. Where he's just going, om, 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 om. Okay, I guess we actually killed the butcher because he had nothing to. No, nope, never mind. That's not him. Hey, man, this looks pretty busy. Good time to take Jack's garage. Hell Road. <laughs> Desert of Death. So obviously there's not that many dinosaurs in this game so far, but it's kind of hard to find games that are dinosaur exclusive, and you know, they are just an important part of the theme here. I don't know what this radio thing is. Take the car, it should be safer. Go for it. Okay. I mean, it has guns on the front, but I don't think I can fire them. Also, I don't believe this game ever got a home release. I don't think I can actually stop being in the car either. Okay, I just have to run him over. I'm like, I can't shoot, so how am I supposed to hurt him? Well, there goes the car. Now I just have to fight this guy normally with my not very much health. I'm worried that I'm gonna get hit by him. Oh, there we go. Got an Uzi. Okay, he doesn't have that much health, though. And it seems like getting hit by his bike doesn't actually do damage. Just... Oh, no, never mind. Shotgun. I didn't actually want the Uzi, but okay. There we go. Punched his bike to death. Those fuzzy leg warmers. I'm just too cool. I'm just too cool. More like he'd sound like. Wasteland. Our garage! Somebody's gonna pay! Oh, mess, look! I didn't see the line at the top. There's also a whole thing about Jack being important because he's a mechanic, and it's kind of a, a lost skill set that was passed down by mechanics before they went into hiding. So Jack fixes up Cadillacs and makes them run on dinosaur shit. What are you doing? That's good. I don't know why the shotgun is s sort of silent, almost. Go, go, go. In the garage. Okay, I didn't actually need to get that. Gold dust. This guy also has a lot of health. Uh oh. Wiggle sticks. Maybe I should use that attack more. Now I'm hella dead. There's like seven guys in this room, and then they threw a bunch of grenades. Alright, let's go with Jack, I guess, since we're in his garage. All those caddies in the back. I wonder, what's the the idea that these Cadillacs would have somehow survived sitting around for 500 years to be repaired? Not only be repaired, but in, like, full chrome condition. I guess they don't make them like they used to. Oh, 
Um, okay, we got a one up. I guess we got enough points for that. Just unload on these two guys casually sitting there. <laughs> I feel like maybe we're a little bit violent ourselves. Like, we're not necessarily the goodest of good guys. Jack just stabbing people with a broken plywood board. He seems pretty good. I mean, he's the all-around character. Uh-oh. Okay. What exactly happens in this room? Yeah, see, it's a slide kick for him. This is where the molten Cadillacs are made. A rifle. I think the ammo power-up only works when you have a gun. Which would make sense. It just refills the gun. Oop, Sunday. Or, did that say Pafé? I think it was supposed to be parfait. <laughs> what are you doing in my garage? Hey man, I'm here to put an end to your little adventure. I'm Boomerang Guy. I throw boomerangs, it's my, my shtick. My name is Slice. I can teleport for some reason. Ah, oh, the boomerang. God damn. Those poachers are gonna pay for busting up my ride. It's, uh, plural. So I guess they're all his rides. Man, that effect is a little glitchy. I guess because it is just a bunch of sprites getting put on screen. And I think even, you know, arcade machines... We're more technically advanced than, you know, the NES and Super NES of their eras, but they still had their limitations. I wonder if I should use my special on the bosses, if that, you know... Uh, it's great when you miss. It just feels like enemies get so much knockback when you hit them that you're always knocking them out of the screen. And then you're kind of unprepared when they come in from the side with an attack. Oh, come on, it followed me. I thought it was just gonna go back directly to him. Well, he's almost done. I'm apparently done too, that took three lives. Let's try the last one here, Mustafa, who's got flying kicks. But it's really just like, yeah, if you feel a little bad for you dying, here's a bazooka to finish off the boss. Hi, cool. Bad to the bone. Alright. Apparently we're still going to Jack's garage? Hello, this is Mustafa. Help, we're under attack. The dinosaurs have gone crazy. Please help us. Something has happened to him. Let's go. Uh, so we're going back to the city, I guess? Village of Flame. Or just a bunch of villagers under attack. These guys are just cooking a baby dinosaur in its own egg. Savage. Or those are just torches. And not actually a campfire. Look, the dinosaurs are running away from the village. Like they're guilty. Barbecue. 10,000 points. Alright, I probably didn't need to punch that rock hopper. I 
I know in the series, Jack had his own, like, friendly Allosaurus that he rescued as a juvenile. Pterodactyls are Zeeks. How did I do that? How did I do that flying kick? I don't know. Like, that's just his, his sprint attack. But I did, like, a diagonal. Alright, let's calm this Velociraptor down by stabbing it. Hey look, a bazooka. And I missed with almost all of the shots. A little bit of chocolate, didn't give me a lot of health back. Oh, environmental hazards. What is that? Why, why is there a beast man? His name is just Bludge. That doesn't really answer any questions. Apparently there are mutants in this, I guess. Another Walther, or possibly the same one. It's never clear in these beat-em-ups, because it seems like every enemy model has their own name, rather than them actually being the same person. I wonder how many credits I have left. I feel like we burned through four already. I guess we have, because one for each character. Is it him yelling blammo? Someone off screen? Um, alright. Lobster? Good. Barbecue? Good. Salad? Not good. <laughs> He says that's good, but there wasn't a little pop-up at the top that said, that's good. I guess if they were all just the same guy over and over again, it would make more sense than them having infinite henchmen. Village. I can't go inside. Yeah, let's just put the water out with these water barrels? These just look like oil barrels with handles on top. Funny that we're collecting fossils. I'd like to think that the reason dinosaurs came back in this world is because of reverse evolution. You know, conditions reverted back to closer to the prehistoric time, so creatures de-evolved back into dinosaurs. Or, you know, time fuckery. The earth was so damaged that time portals opened and dinosaurs returned. Croissant, good. Thank you for coming. The, okay, I can't even read that because I wouldn't help with their master's evil plan. His name is... That guy always had a big mouth. Okay, so his name is... This tiny man is the boss of this level. He just, like, spawns shit to throw at you. There we go, I actually hit him with a special attack. Keep fucking slamming dudes into him. That Uzi does a lot of damage. Alright. Yep. Almost got. Well, now he's got a second health bar. 
I was gonna say he's almost done. He just spit a rock at me. I think Jack is probably just the best overall. Also, whatever your character says whenever you fire the bazooka always just comes from, like, weirdly off to the right. It's only coming out of my right headphone. Ah, now I'm really gonna get bent out of shape. Okay. And then he turned into a mutant dinosaur. He's like a pachycephala man. Morg is kind of an unfortunate name. God damn. They don't mess around with these arcade games. And we got a one-up for getting punched real good. Now get away from the edge before he charges back in. I didn't even think, <laughs> think I could grab him. Once a gun is empty, you can pick it up again to throw it. But only once, before it just gets destroyed. Huh. <sighs> like, it wouldn't be so tough if they didn't have so much health. But they really do have, like, a big old multimeter. And I think they might have unlimited enemy spawns during boss fights. Dino Uppercut! Alright! His special move is Dino Uppercut, I just realized that. Village of Flame complete. What the heck? This doctor is mad. He's creating new life forms. Jungle and Mine. I don't actually know how many levels there are. Usually these are about 40 minutes to an hour to beat the whole thing. When you don't know anything about what you're doing. I wish I could do the jump kicks more effectively, but I think your timing has to be better. Because if you jump kick right away, then you basically don't hit anything unless they're in the air. You have to like jump and then kick near the end, and it barely does any damage. Wow, he went from sitting to uppercutting in one smooth motion. Okay, now we're at the point where we're getting earlier bosses as just regular enemies. slowly kick these two through the level as we fight everyone else. Did they both just respawn as soon as I killed the other one? that impatient timer again. Like, oh, you're taking too long to beat this boss. Get out of here. Which is also funny when it's dependent on them actually coming from off screen. All right, we got jungle, we've got lightning. We must be leading up to the final confrontation. Some kind of temple laboratory. Yeah. 
There we go, just bludgeon him with the rifle. Me Jack, me Smash! I didn't expect this rifle to last this long as a melee weapon. It's a very flexible Brachiosaur leg. Alright, I can lure them into it too. At least, they usually have it so that hazards affect enemies just as much as they affect you. Also, you have invincibility frames when you grab somebody. Back into that knee-high water. What is that Brachiosaur expression? She's like, eh, I love stomping. <laughs> kind of fucking creepy with those <laughs> teeth. <laughs> oh, there's Blanca again. Let's go back to Hannah D. I don't know what it means by she's good with items. Like, does she just do more damage with weapons? Oh, boss music. Or just a music change, because we're back on land. This is the land walk music. can't go any further. I will show you the incredible power of the doctor. Look, I'm an abomination now. Isn't that incredible? The Tyrog? What the fuck? Ribcage stabber. These guys don't seem to be too bothered that their friend just got mutated into a horrible ab abomination. And it could happen to any one of them. Ah! Oh, he's twitching. He's twitching. He's not sure where to go. Ah! 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 I don't know if the knives just like detonate in your hands if you hold them too long, and that's why they start flashing orange. It's kind of funny how everybody dies when you kill the boss, though. Okay. Someone help. See? This is what they should have been worried about. They might be the next Tyrog. Potato good. That was like hash browns. Damn it. Still have more credits. Haven't run out yet. I mean, this, this still seems to be the most effective strategy. Just kick them off screen with your flying jump. Gum, also good. 
All right, anyone else gonna become a Tyrog? Also, let's see if I can get that cake. Come on, how many of these things are you gonna make me fight? Don't give me a timer when you keep resetting the enemy. Though it seems to just reset as soon as you get a hit, so I guess it just won't let you like dodge around the arena without fighting anyone. Because if you take a hit or hit someone, it'll stop counting. Oh, he had invincibility when he got up. I mean, this has got to be the last one, right? It's gotten to gray form. Really, the only reason to kill these enemies is because they might drop a weapon. Ugh, the jump attacks are what always get me. When they leap from off screen and land on your head. Alright, now I'm out of credits? Yeah. So we add some more. I mean, I understand why some people want to do repeated runs in the, until they can no credit it. It's just not really my thing to get really good at one arcade game. You can't touch this, except you did. You killed me like seven times. I went through three characters in that one fight. This guy looks familiar. I think it's the genius Dr. Fessenden. This equipment looks like the sta staff in the underground ruins. You mean stuff? The vault. All right, we got a secret science lab underneath New York. Pterodactyl just coming in to harass me, or Zeke, which I'm pretty sure they're just named after the Zeros in World War II. That Pterodactyl is fucking me up whenever I jump. I'm trying to jump kick it, but it's too high. See, I thought it was final uppercut at first, but I'm pretty sure it's dino uppercut. Because he likes dinos, you know. Someone just got gibbed. Yep. There was meat chunks and eyeballs in there. <laughs> Did arcade games ever really have a rating system? They kind of predated that whole rating thing that brought about the ERSRB. There's probably some checks it had to pass eventually to make sure that it was arcade friendly. Obviously some of them had like censorship dip switches where you could change it to like green blood and whatnot. Knife comboed. Well, we're gonna go through a lot of credits to complete this, but I am down to do it. I mean, we're most of the way there now. It's probably the last level. Go, go, go. I don't know if this game would have been one that I spent the credits to get through in an arcade. I'll say that much. It's all right, but it doesn't really do anything too special aside from having a kind of a cool setting. But then, this is from 1993, 94, so I think it's pretty contemporary with the beat-em-ups of the time. 
I suppose Alien, the Alien arcade game, or Aliens arcade game that I did a playthrough of previously was kind of unique in that it was essentially a beat-em-up where you always had a gun. It was like a beat-em-up shooter. Okay, so when you grab him, you can also just punch him if you don't press a direction. These guys always seem very hesitant to use their guns. Take that donut that beat out of his pocket. Go, go, go. Gotta be almost there now. Ah yes, the secret library of New York. Where all the old world information was stored. See, it helps that you can switch directions of your punches in mid-combo, so you can kind of juggle enemies on both sides. Not Lash T again, times two. Okay, I'm just gonna get fucking pinned in this corner by his balls. Finally, got him to stop following me. What are these things between the bookshelves? Oh, creepy little frogmen. I guess this is just what Bludge looks like when he's not active. Big old frog foot. And there's just guys off screen rolling those barrels in like, shouldn't we like not hit our own guys? Nah, just throw them in there. They know better, they'll jump out of the way. And another corridor. Delicious. Delicious. Sushi. <laughs> Computer room. Going full caveman now. Wow, I punched that knife out of the air like a champ. I'm going, going, going. You fools dare to try to stop the creator of a new world. I can give you all new lives, just as I have done to your old friend. Go ahead, sly sars. Is that because they used to be slicer? Z he looks like he's really getting into this with that heavy breathing back there. Oh, the boomerang dash. It's way harder to avoid than the actual boomerang. Isn't that a fun final boss? If this is the final boss, this might be like the pre-final boss. Ah! 
I need to just like pick one and focus on them. I mean, I'd also say that this is considerably less well-balanced than the Aliens arcade game, because that one felt like one where you're not going to get cheaped out by every boss, and so that you have to put more quarters in to memorize how they work. I feel like you can actually react in that game well enough that you could get through it pretty well your first time. Whereas this is just kind of like... Tanky bosses that are meant to fuck you over until you've put enough quarters into wear down their health bar. It's not like I'm not hitting these guys. It's just they both had like four health bars. Alright. Are you gonna be the last one, or is there gonna be another boss level? <laughs> hey, cool. I'm a bad Mamba Jamba. Is that what he really just said? The basement. Okay, so there is another level. It's pretty long. So far, you've only witnessed a taste of my power. If you dare, come and behold true genius. The Underworld. Look, here is my mutants, and this is just a Velociraptor. Uh-oh. Maybe sometimes it's not a good idea to advance when there's still enemies around, because they'll just follow you to the next screen. Like, the regular enemies aren't too hard to deal with. It's just the boss-type enemies that are kind of a real pain in this. Except those guys who charge in from off-screen. Really, your only way to react quickly to something like that is to jump and hope you jump high enough to go over their attack. Because it's not like you can move out of the way that easily. Yep, this one's also got like four health bars. And it's not even coming on screen, so it's just shooting fireballs from offside. Come on. Yep. Now it was me getting killed by fireballs from off screen. We punched this guy so many times. Come on. What? I don't know what I just did there. There's some attacks I still don't know how to do. Would you please just come over here? Like this. He's just gonna kinda sit off screen and attack me and then jump back in on my head. Or shoot a fireball. Instant fireball before he was even off the ground. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You done? Nope. He had one more fireball that just barely missed. Go, go, go. Like that. I think that's a bad enemy. <laughs> ah yes, the sewers beneath the laboratory. Which are also the New York dungeons. You must be under the police station. Now we have fire traps. I 
I missed. And now I'm kind of wedged between two fire traps, which means they gotta go through them to get to me. Oh, that one's broken now. There is a weapon down here. Now you can't sprint with the knife, otherwise you'll just throw it. There's pizza, which I don't need. Always health when I'm at full, and like, rarely when I'm not. But health is always kind of a begrudging thing in arcade games, because, you know, they want you to die. Being a good, enjoyable experience is less important than milking you for money from a lot of arcade creators. Alright. Can't be much more of this dungeon, right? I feel like they're kind of dragging it out now. I mean, it's rare to have an arcade game of this length, it seems, so that's kind of an upside that you can keep playing. It's just they haven't really filled it with anything special, have they? Just produce those knives out of nowhere, but they don't call them Razor for nothing. Alright, and then we jump off the world into an even deeper cavern. <laughs> We're trying to get down to the laboratory in hell. I guess this could also be leading to whatever underground city these people emerged from into New York. You know, kind of the vault equivalent. But then they should know it's there, shouldn't they? I suppose it doesn't actually say in the series how long after the re-emergence the series takes place. Like, you know, is Jack a first-generation emerger, or was he born into Dino World? Also, the jump kick is just kind of useless, it seems. It's weak, it's hard to hit with, it really doesn't have any advantages except, oh, you might not get hit when you try to do it. Which is presumably why they made it so weak. Alright, Lash T has to go first, because he's the one that gives me the most trouble with his long-range ball. So, of course, there's two of each. Oh, boy. I didn't think I'd have this much trouble with it. Though I'm not exactly a hardcore arcade gamer. Arcades were already on the way out by the time I was old enough to play one. I mean, we had one here for a while. You know, it was kind of a big thing, not just a little corner arcade. It was in a mall. But even that eventually went. We're still trying to make it pay for it, Jack. You've said that so many times already. And they still have not really paid. That's good. I think the grab is fairly effective damage it does. The knives from off-screen are not really fun either. They're very hard to avoid. Now this music's pretty dramatic. This has to be like an almost final boss, right? 
It's the sound of science. Oh, look, a nuke. I've been expecting you. You were just in time to st- Okay, thanks. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to set off this nuke after we fight this doctor. I have a feeling he's gonna, like, mutate through various forms. Because right now, he's just the packy guy we already fought. For once, they don't have enemies spawning from off-screen. But they probably will at some point. Ah! Or is he done? I don't think he's done. Pathetic fools! Now witness the true power of my serum as it takes effect. How come his portrait hasn't changed? Okay, now he's like a weird parasite coming out of a dinosaur man. All the strength of the mighty dinosaur and my extreme knowledge. The world is mine to control. Ha ha ha! Look at this fucking abomination. And yet he's killing me with little chops from his little arms. From out of my range, even. I mean, we just have to hit him one combo at a time. He doesn't really seem to have any, like, charge or ranged attack. Just have to watch out for that swipe. Oh, no, there we go. Fireballs which summoned a lair of knife men. Not really keen on him being able to smack us out of that kick after we've hit him with it. But it seems like it takes two hits to knock him back instead of just one. Or at least sometimes. I actually managed to dodge a swipe with a jump kick there. Oh, knives. Why? Why, why does there have to be a knife barrage randomly? Now is he gonna have another form? That's just a giant blob of dino flesh. What a wimp. No, I think that's it. I can't fast forward through this. All right, now let's do a four-person punch. No, I'm not finished mutating in such a rush. <laughs> and then he mutated so hard that he exploded. His lab is gonna explode. Run, or just gone, explode. There was no A. Hurry up. Come on, Hannah. Jack, Hannah. <laughs> and then they died horrifically and were never seen again. The end. Oh, Konami was responsible for scroll. Some pee. I'm kind of curious, like, is there gonna be something at the end here? Like, they walk back to the garage and... Oh, they're fine. Who? Nin. Hor Hor. Alex. Super Joe. And Capcom All Staff. So this was a Capcom joint. I believe Aliens was also Capcom, right? So I can't say it's like, oh, well, it was Konami, so no wonder I didn't like it as much. Jack, Hannah, you are all right. Yeah, we barely made it. Thanks to this Cadillac, Fessenden was a madman. His insane plans almost became our reality. Fessenden tried to mess with the balance. Nature always balances itself. Let's go home. Uh -huh, you guys are going to have to run because we're not picking you up. This caddy ain't built for four. Shaw. 
I guess I could have put SHD. So that was alright. I wouldn't say it's definitely the best of these arcade games I've played, but it was enjoyable enough. I just wish it was balanced a little less to be such a quarter muncher. Anyhow, that'll do it for Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, so thank you for joining me on our punch fest as we punched a lot of men and a few dinosaurs and a few dinosaur men on the way to restore balance to nature. So until next time, I've been Shadefire. See you around.